So here's another just exterior view of the convention center. And this is all part of the convention center here. And you can see it, uh, even though it looks like it's not part of the convention center, it is. And then even in the distance, you can see other buildings that are part of the convention center. And uh, as I was mentioning, because Philadelphia has so much space uh, for hotels, for uh, just floor space for conventions. Different conventions really like Philadelphia because it makes it very, very convenient to have events in the city. Now imagine when you need 3,000 people in one city, you need hotel rooms for 3,000 people. You need space to have 3,000 people in one location at one time. And there's not that many cities in the United States that have that capacity. And that's why Philadelphia is one of those locations that a lot of people really like to go to. Now here is a different view of the exterior of the convention center. Isn't it magnificent just to see that? And as I was mentioning earlier, it just continues on. They have a lot of extra space in the back. This is for all the thousands of people that show up for the conventions. And there you can see in the distance is actually part of Philadelphia's convention center. It is that big. Uh, it actually is like three blocks from Market Street to Broad Street. Uh, really a great job. And so uh, like this, uh, it's extensive because there's so many people that always need to have a really big convention.